Your brain is a garden full of these magnificent, complex, branched cells, much like this potted plant. And these cells, they're called neurons. They control everything that we do. They control how we think. And they're even controlling whatever you're doing right now. But like a nice garden, we need to make sure that it's well maintained. We don't want to have an eyesore of a garden. Our neighbors are going to complain. It's going to get overgrown or not enough plants. Luckily, we've got gardeners in our brain. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to you guys about the mighty microglia cell. Yes, indeed, the brain's mighty little gardener. But what exactly are they doing? And how are they doing this? Gardens in the brain? Well, let me explain. But first, we've got to take a trip back in time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> While you're still developing in your mother's womb, in utero, you've got a lot of these neuronal cells being born. They're blooming over here. They're blooming over there. Over here and just about everywhere. And these cells, these neurons, as they grow, they connect with each other, they explore, they form these beautiful connections. And these connections between two cells, they're called a synapse. And this is a small area where these cells can exchange neurochemical information and talk to each other, which is very important. But in early life, they kind, of go, uh, they kind of go overboard with it, and they're forming connections everywhere. And this peaks around the age of two. So the problem here is they're forming so many connections that they're not going to use most of them. And this is a problem for our brain's efficiency. Now, to handle this, we've got gardeners in our brain. Yes, there's a process called synaptic pruning and through this process all of these connections that aren't needed they're marked kind of like you'd give instructions to a gardener and your microglia they kind of come along and they're able to recognize this marker and since they're being good gardeners good plant lovers they digest these unneeded connections they're the ones responsible for sculpting the brilliant landscape of the developing brain. They're so crucial, in fact, that if you have something going wrong during synaptic pruning, this can lead to neurodevelopmental disorders, autism spectrum disorder, and it could predispose you to schizophrenia in later life. I hope you've all learned a little bit about the gardeners in our brain, and you can appreciate the sheer beauty and importance of these friends. And I'd like to leave you with a little quote from the great French philosopher, Voltaire. We must tend to our own gardens. Thank you. <laughs>